Well hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be making a running and walking animation. Last time we created this idle animation which is very simple and kinda looks cool. Not really. Also last time we created a file called low poly human animation and every time we want to create a new animation we just open that up. But to make everything look nicer once you put it all together I'm just going to open up the idle animation and start creating the walking animation from this because then we'll have like because then everything will look much smoother so of course we have our if you select the rig we have our idle animation now some of these we want to remove we'll remove the ones on the 15th frame so if you just pick the summary keyframe like the top one press x and delete it will de delete everything go to the first frame and now we have to set up the first pose of the animation so one hand goes forward, one hand goes backwards, like that. One foot, the opposite of this one, goes forward. So if left hand goes forward, then right foot goes forward. And left foot goes backwards. You don't want to move in too much because it's just walking and you don't move your legs and arms that much actually when you're walking. Once you have a nice pose, just press A to select everything and then press I. Also copy that and paste it onto the 31st frame. So just control C on first frame, control V on 31st one and press I. And don't forget to press I because it won't save. And now on 15th frame in the middle, we want to swap the direction. So then left arm goes backwards, left foot goes forward and that kind of thing. So just take these and try to place them in a similar position doesn't have to be the same because it's you're just walking you know once you do that just uh, select everything and press I if you play the animation now it kind of looks like walking but we can fix this to make it look even better right I will divide this into two parts of the animation so we have the first switch when we switch from kind of the right foot forward to the left foot forward and then we switch from the left foot forward to the right foot forward so we can loop the animation in the first half we will go to like the seventh frame which is kind of the half half of the animation and in here you want to play back the animation and see which foot should touch the ground and that is the foot that is that was in front so this so the right foot has to touch the ground so I'll just select the right foot and make it flat on the ground right here like that you can see that it stands like that and press I also go to the 23rd frame and make the other foot be flat on the ground like that and press I. If you play the animation right now it looks a bit better with uh, the legs. Also what you can do is go to the first frame and maybe for this foot backward maybe you can just uh, bring it up a bit and bend it or something. And for this one also maybe you can just bend it. And then select the bones you changed and press I. Also copy, copy it to the last frame because the first and the last have to be the same and here also just kinda bend the feet so it looks like there's some motion going on in here when it really there isn't. Press I, play it now you can see that the feet stay uh, kinda rotated so on the 7th and 23rd frame you have to select uh, these foot bones and toes and press Alt Alt R and then press I and all same thing on the 23rd frame and now if you play it you can see that it looks much better now the body kind of just stays in one place it's not really moving we want to fix that so whenever we put all the weight on one leg so for example here on the right leg we'll go ahead and rotate the body to the right like here maybe this bone just rotate it to the right and we want to also press I first and we also want to rotate the head so it's kind of straight. Do the same thing on the tw 23rd, uh, 23rd frame but the other side of course. So you rotate the body onto the side of the leg which is on the ground and then rotate the neck to the opposite. And now if you play you can see that the player kind of tilts when he is uh, walking which makes it look a bit better. That's pretty much the walking animation. First you want to change the uh, this name to walk 
and also save this as low poly human walk maybe walk forward or something but since I won't be making the uh, walk backward animation I'll just save it like this now to make a running animation from this is very very simple you just need to change a bit of stuff so I'll just save this again as low poly human run and I'll change the name here to run now we can start making the running animation go to the first frame and make the arms a bit more up you know like he's using some force also you can uh, kind of lean the player a bit or the character a bit uh, forward like that so it looks like he's running because when you run you kind of lean forward to get some speed legs can also go a bit further out like this and press everything or press A and then press I to insert keyframes for everything copy it to the last frame now you can you have to do the same thing in the middle so go ahead and do that doesn't matter if it's not the same it's a animation and it shouldn't be perfect select everything press I now of course this won't work the best because some things should be kind of the same so when he leans forward you can just copy this bone and paste it onto here and press I paste it on 15 frame and now you'll have to paste it on the 7th and the 23rd frame also and also on the 7th frame again rotate it a bit to the left side or the right side sorry and on the 23rd, rotate to the other side. When he steps on one foot, I want him to kind of lean a bit more forward, like this. So on the 7th and the 23rd frame, just lean a bit more forward. And now he's kind of running. For the arms, I might just move them a bit more up, like this. Press I, copy it for the last frame, and here also move it a bit up. Also on the seventh frame, you can uh, maybe make the arm go a bit down, so it looks better with the transitioning. Maybe you can copy that and paste it on the, the 23rd frame. And now it kind of looks like he's running. So today we made a walking and a running animation, which wasn't that hard, hopefully. I know I was going a bit fast, but you know, I can't help myself. Next time, I don't know what we're gonna do, probably a jumping animation. Go follow me on my social media, there's links to that in the description, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.